staying with legal matters for now, just one in five Londoners believe the justice system is fair and transparent. That is according to a new report out today by a major law firm in the capital. The study by Hodge, Jones and Allen claims better education in legal matters would improve perceptions and public trust. Well, Jayesh Kunwadia is from the law firm, a partner there, and uh, joins us now. Good morning. Uh, this would suggest there is a lot of people who believe the justice system isn't working here in the capital. I mean, absolutely. The report commissioned um, by Hodge and Snallen clearly shows that 20% of the population that was surveyed in London considered that the legal system was fair and transparent. I mean, the majority are obviously saying the opposite. And that is really worrying. Is, is, it, is it a perception that it isn't fair and transparent or is it not fair and transparent? It's not fair and transparent. I mean, it simply is um, an obstacle which is in, in, in place where people are generally not getting access to justice. We're seeing increased in court fees. We're seeing people who w w are, are concerned about going to court because of the expense that's involved. And more worrying is the issue about legal aid and areas which have been taken out of scope, denying people their right to access um, justice overall. So this is only going to get worse, in your opinion, because of those cuts to legal aid? Absolutely. I mean, there needs to be a tough stance taken by the government to bring about change. And that's where this report is putting together statistical information coming from a very reputable uh, marketing um, research um, company called Populous, which is suggesting that there are serious concerns. We need to listen to people, listen to the public, bring about change and debate. And where we're looking to develop from this is to see that there is things that can be done to bring about an improvement to the justice system and a better understanding overall. OK, what are those things then that would improve it? I mean, the things which um, would improve it essentially is you know, firstly, um, legal aid cuts across the board should be stopped. I mean, we need to reinstate legal aid across the board so that people that are vulnerable, in particular in London, housing is a serious problem. The crisis in London with people that are street homeless is, is spiralling out of control. People need advice from, you know, experienced lawyers. So in order to get that advice, you need legal aid reinstated across the board. We're seeing cuts in, um, um, you know, public funded cases in relation to welfare benefits, which have no longer in scope. So if we reinstate that, that will serve the public and allow people to exercise their right and their entitlement. Yeah, these are all, all money needing things with a government that's set on making sure it, it, it deals with its deficits. Do you think these changes would ever happen? I mean, I'm completely, you know, recognise the bigger picture in terms of the constraints that the government has, but I think what we need to do is look at things in terms of the immediate problems and see how we, we can tackle these. You know, efficiency savings, yes, that's good, but bringing about change in a manner that's in a steady pace rather than just, you know, making blanket legal aid cuts mm. across the board doesn't seem to achieve the objective of fairness and giving people their right to be represented. Yeah, at the other end of the spectrum, the government is investing around £700 million to try and modernise the court process in, into a digital age. Yes. And yet there are still some people who, who might not be that keen on that aspect. Just talk through that. I think the statistical information um, through this report suggests around 36% of those surveyed considered the, um, the digitalisation process to be rather concerning for those that are vulnerable, you know, the, the, the elderly. How will they cope with being um, put through a digital process in courts, you know, let alone being there without representation in some cases? Okay, uh, Jayesh Kunwadia from Hodge, Jones and Allen. Thank you for joining us this morning. Interesting thoughts there.